every day, your body's immune system is working to protect you against foreign invaders, like bacteria and viruses. But did you know that scientists can harness the immune system to attack cancer too? Today we'll be discussing a type of cancer immunotherapy called immune checkpoint blockade. Let's do this. There are many types of immune cells, each with their own function. Cytotoxic T cells are the specialized killer cells of the immune system. Cytotoxic T cells each have their own unique T cell receptor, and their mission is to attack infected cells in the body. Think of them as the soldiers of the immune system. Your body cells present broken down proteins called peptides on their surfaces. If a cell is healthy, T cells will recognize the normal peptide and won't attack. It's almost like every body cell carries an ID card on it, and T cells scan these cards to make sure every cell belongs. But if a body cell is infected by a virus, or if it's cancerous, then the peptides presented on its surface will be different and foreign. Using their specialized receptors, T cells will scan the foreign peptide, the unknown ID card, and will kill the infected cell using toxic proteins called perforin and granzymes. This keeps our bodies healthy. At the end of an immune response, when you're healthy again, it's important for the T cells to stop killing body cells. To regulate these T cells, signaling molecules called immune checkpoints are put into place to exhaust the T cells and prevent them from fighting. Cancer is sneaky, and cancer cells take advantage of these checkpoints to stay alive. The PD-1, PD-L1 checkpoint is commonly used by cancer cells to evade the immune system by tiring out T cells. Another common checkpoint in cancer is called the CTLA-4-B7 checkpoint, which also exhausts T cells. So how could a checkpoint be blocked so that the T cells don't get tired out? Antibodies could be used. Antibodies are proteins of the immune system. Each antibody binding to a very specific target molecule called an antigen, fitting together just like a lock and key would. And the two are attracted together like a dog is to its toy. Antibodies come in many forms, but they all follow one basic structure. There are four peptide chains, the two light chains in red and the heavy chains in blue. In green is the antigen binding site, the variable region. Antibodies have many functions. They can block a virus from entering a cell, or they can mark a pathogen for destruction. To block those immune checkpoints we were discussing, specific antibody clones can be made in a lab, called monoclonal antibodies, then given to patients as a cancer treatment. These monoclonal antibodies will bind to the checkpoint molecules on either the patient's T cells or cancer cells using their specific antigen binding sites and will serve as a blockade to prevent the T cells from getting tired out. Now T cells can defeat the cancer. This immunotherapy has already saved many lives and continues to be a promising treatment option for cancer patients.